dear students welcome to my youtube channel mba shala today in this video i am going to explain you how to estimate cash flows to evaluate capital budgeting proposals we will apply various capital budgeting techniques and to calculate all these uh, uh, to evaluate these proposals first we need to find out how to estimate these cash flows that we are going to generate in future on our investment proposals see on your investment you will generate revenue and from this sales revenue first you deduct fixed cost you'll get contribution from this contribution we have to deduct variable cost now we get earnings before depreciation and taxes now as we are talking about investment proposals say for example fixed assets like machinery every year we have to charge depreciation on these assets because they have a fixed life period and the value of the asset gets on deteriorating every year that's why we calculate or we charge depreciation on these assets therefore less depreciation you get earnings before taxes earnings before taxes now you pay you charge tax which will be given in terms of some percentage and this percentage we have to calculate on this amount if it is say this is 10000 rupees at the rate of 10% tax you have to pay means 10% on 10000 1000 rupees will be tax so on this amount earnings before taxes you will charge a certain percentage of tax then you get earnings after tax or also called as profit after tax and to this earnings after tax or profit after tax you have to add back this depreciation which is a non cash expense so this depreciation you will add back to this profit after taxes now you get earnings after tax but before depreciation this amount is called as cash flows now i'll give you a very important instruction in all five capital budgeting techniques except in arr technique in all the remaining four techniques like pay back period method irr method npv method profitability index method we can apply these methods to evaluate project proposals we use cash flows only except era this considers profit after taxes and all the remaining techniques they consider cash flows so this is the procedure how we can find out cash flows that we can generate out of our investment proposals every year thank you if you have any queries you please leave them in the comment box i will uh, solve your uh, queries uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you